Can this season just be over with already? Another loss for Chelsea Football Club, this time to Man United. Ah, oh, those days of Joe Cole scoring that sublime little flick and Drogba scoring the rocket. 2-1 Old Trafford 2010, basically won us the Premier League that season. Those days feel so, so far away. Chelsea Football Club is starting to look unrecognisable. I've been saying it for a while, but every game, it just feels further and further away. As the weeks have gone by, especially since Lampard's been in charge, the identity that Chelsea Football Club once had is a distant memory right now. And I'm really worried for next season. But last night was dismal. He put out a young team. I almost agree with it. It's probably what the right thing is at this moment in time in the season. Young players who are meant to be hungry, trying to prove to the new manager coming in that they're good enough. But I'm worried that they're not. And I'm worried that next season that just isn't going to happen. The individual errors last night. Wesley Fofana. I've backed him at points this season, but oh, that was an awful night. An awful night. Such a big price tag. I'm trying not to think about the price tags on the players this season. It's not my money, and the recruitment's been mad. Average players these days apparently now cost Chelsea Football Club 100 million, and maybe even below average. With the performances that we've been seeing the last few months... I'm so, so worried about next season. Constant injuries again. Reese is injured. Kante's injured. What's happening at Chelsea? But Lampard put out a team that was arguably the correct decision last night. Our youngest ever Premier League team. As Piliqueta, the elder statesman in the side. Ten years older than the rest of the team, really. And for the first 45 minutes, albeit another horrific goal to concede from a set piece... I actually thought Chelsea were, were in with a chance. I say 45. Most, the majority of the first half, I thought we could go in at 1-1 here. But obviously Kai Havertz up front is... It's so hard to believe that that is the same guy that scored that goal all that time ago in the Champions League final. It's hard to believe that this guy cost all that money coming from Bayer Leverkusen. The hype that surrounded him. A, a future Ballon d'Or winner. Germany's next best thing, the new Müller, the new Voller, the names that I was hearing about Kai Havertz, it seems ludicrous that those comparisons ever happened. This guy couldn't be further from that. And with him up front, Chelsea Football Club, as we know, are never, ever, ever going to find themselves scoring a number of goals in a game, to be honest with you. And last night is just another... Perfect example of Chelsea's season. But for 40 minutes, I thought we were showing a, a good amount of effort. We were fighting. We were trying to keep the ball in Manchester United's half. It felt positive. But then a lapse in concentration. And there they were at the other end, going into half time at 2-0. And at that moment in time, you just knew that those young heads, inexperienced as they are, were going to keep fighting and going to keep trying. But it was going to be a dismal night. I remember... At Stamford Bridge, that, that game a long, long time ago. And I remember Jody Morris doing the trumpet. Oh, that's what it felt like we were on the receiving end of last night. I was looking at the score and I was thinking it's 2-0 now. This team could capitulate. I mean, four goals we ended up conceding. And what a dismal night that is for Chelsea Football Club. That is one game I do not want to remember. A real, real struggle as a Chelsea fan to sit and watch that because the second half was appalling. The substitution's a joke. Frank Lampard, I think if you asked him honestly, he'd tell you he doesn't like 20 players in this squad. He cannot stand them. You can see it in his face. The lack of effort, ambition, desire... They don't even want to play for Chelsea Football Club. The noise is coming out of this club is a joke. And he keeps playing the players making the noise. Last night was a shambles. An absolute disgrace. A, a reminder of how far Chelsea are from where they once were. And it feels like it's happened so, so quick. It That night in Porto all that time ago is... Or it feels like all that time ago. But it's really only two years ago. And it feels so much longer than that. In less than a year, Chelsea Football Club, I 
mean, are completely, completely removed from what they ever once were. And I'm so worried about next season. Pochettino's not even been announced. He's probably watching every game thinking, wow, this job's getting harder and harder. And he's looking at the squad thinking that is an impossible task. And he's probably sat there thinking, oh, I hope another job becomes available. Because right now, this is a hard task. If you think right now that a new manager can come in and fix this, then I'm concerned because I don't see that happening. I don't think these players are good enough at the moment. We're seeing players that we've bought for a lot of money and the only thing that hyped them up to that value wasn't proven. It was on potential. Potential of what these players could be. Well, we're seeing it right now that that potential in a tough league I don't see it for half the signings that were apparently the future of Chelsea Football Club under Todd Bowley. The people that were the new spine of the team. They're awful. I want these players to do well, but right now, I'm not sure it's just a confidence thing. Don't get me wrong. Confidence makes a massive difference. But right now, for Chelsea Football Club, I think it might go deeper than that. And I'm not sure that a new manager could really turn this around. We had no new manager bounce. Not at all. Lampard's the worst manager in the league by a mile, and so is his team, since he took the job. We're bottom in almost every statistic. It's the most disastrous match or appointment that could have ever happened. Not just for Chelsea, but for Frank Lampard as well. He has hurt his career going forward so much, but we're not here to talk about Lampard anymore. I love him, and thanks for trying, Frank, but on you go, and good luck, if you decide to manage again. But honestly, mate, like just crack on and enjoy your life. You've had an amazing one as a player and just enjoy it, mate. What's the point in all this stress when quite clearly you're not the same calibre as a manager as you were as a player? But that's not what we're here to talk about anymore. We all know that Lampard has had an absolute stinker of a time at Chelsea. But right now, going forward, I'm scared of the future for Chelsea Football Club. I'm not sold on Pochettino. I think he's better than Lampard and better than Potter, but I don't know if he fixes it. He might be able to give the young players the guidance that they need and, and improve them and put them on the right path. But this is a big job. This is a this goes further than just the team that's being put out. This goes into training and how the club's being run and throughout I keep using the word toxic and you can just see it the whole way through and next season. I've got a feeling it's going to be bad. I'm not sure it'll be as bad as this, but you know what? If it was, it wouldn't surprise me. I'm worried about next season for Chelsea Football Club. I really am. And with Chelsea right now, the future is meant to be looking an improvement because you think, how can it get worse than this? But I look at these players and I don't think the quality's there. I don't think that the signings we're being linked with are the ones that are going to improve this team. I'm hearing about players that may potentially come to Chelsea, but we saw it last summer. We saw some big names being linked with Chelsea and we couldn't attract them under Bowley when we had Champions League. What now, apart from money, is going to attract them to Chelsea Football Club? I'm concerned. I really am. And last night sums up our season. It's... So long ago, that, that game against Tottenham and that game against Dortmund, like they seem so long ago. They're the only highlights I can think of this season. And they're not even that good. We, we ended up drawing that game to Tottenham and we should have won it. And I really struggle to, to have any memories from this season. It's such a forgettable one. We've had four managers, an absolute joke. We struggled to, to get through against that Dortmund side, but we got a good win there. And now, that's like the highlight of the season. And it feels so dismal. And look where Dortmund have gone from that. They're going to go and win their league pretty much if they get a result this weekend. Both teams have gone in opposite directions. Chelsea Football Club have been on a decline for a whole season now. And it's it's been so tough to watch. I'm really concerned. I know I keep saying it. Where do you see Chelsea Football Club going? Do you think the future's brighter right now? Because I, I don't know if I do. That's such a hard watch last night. And we are 
drastically, drastically bad. And in a, in a in a scary situation going forward into next season and the next five, ten years, I, I don't know if we'll see Chelsea return. I really hope we do, but I'm nervous right now as to if that's ever going to happen. And if you can fill me with some more hope, then please do. I hope you enjoy the bank holiday sunshine and enjoy it finishing against Newcastle this weekend because I can't wait for this season to be over. I want to reset. I want to enjoy the other sort of games that are on and then reset over the summer and see where Chelsea are and what is going on. Why has Pochettino not been announced yet? It's an absolute mess. I can't believe that. I fully expect that to be announced on Monday if he still wants to come to the club. And if he doesn't, wow, we're in an absolute state. A bigger one than what I thought we might be because I see some positives with Pochettino, but not loads. And... I don't know what it what the future looks like for Chelsea Football Club anymore. And that game last night is a massive reminder of how this season's gone and the failure to turn up in big games, small games. Failure to turn up at all, really. This is Chelsea's lowest ever points total. It's going to be like 43 points. We're going to finish in the bottom half of the table. I think the best we might be able to do is 12th. Chelsea Football Club are a team that do not belong in the bottom half of the table anymore. Maybe once that's where we were, but in the last 20 years, we've moved on from that. I speak to my dad about the dark old days. And for me, this feels frighteningly close to those days. And I really don't know because I wasn't there, but this is tough to take as a Chelsea fan right now. And let's get this season over and done with and enjoy our summers and come back and hope that it's all heading in the right direction again next year. But for now, another dismal night for Chelsea Football Club. Another hopeless game to go into at the weekend, but I'll back us again. I think we're going to be saying goodbye to a few players if they're fit enough to be there, if they feel committed enough to be at the game. I think we're going to be saying some goodbyes, ones that will hurt, no doubt. And it'll be the end of a horrific season for Chelsea Football Club. So let's get that one over and done with sure I'll talk to you before then. Enjoy the rest of the football. Some cracking games coming up this weekend, no doubt. Playoffs, relegation battle, title deciders in Germany and Portugal as well. And I will see you in the next video.